Hello. And welcome back to my journey to 1000 ELO episode 15. I remembered the number we were on. So this is an experiment uh, for me. I didn't do a warm up. I just kind of want to see if I'm actually a lot worse if I don't warm up with a few games. So I'm going to sniffle my way through this video and uh, hope that we get done in about 20 minutes or so. We'll see. You'll know already if I succeeded or failed. So here we go. All right. London. Because with the white pieces, go for the Jobava London because I'm having fun trying to learn how to play it. Actually, it's funny to me. I completely forget which move I'm supposed to do next. If it is pawn here or knight, I'm just going to go with the pawn right now. So we'll see. Ooh, things are still opening up on my computer, so this might be a little bit choppy. Heavens. I, I truly apologize for being so sniffly. It just told me my camera turned off. All right. So in a video I watched yesterday, they talked about leaving the tension in the middle of the board kind of for as long as you can stand it. So I'm just going to castle. Break that pin. Make what that bishop is doing there pretty useless. You contemplate life. Why? That's great. Thank you. Thank you. See, this move order seems like complete nonsense to me. So he is doing all of this just for the pawn when his king is still in the middle. I would rather go for a pawn break. Now he could still do this move. And, oh, it's a fork. Ah! One moment. Need a little caffeine. It is the morning. So again, this is a pretty good fork. I don't I don't have other moves I liked. So we're just going to go for that one. <clears throat> oh my goodness. If you have allergies, Ooh I feel sorry for you. So at this point, I believe I need to start transitioning to a pawn structure that's based around the white squares <clears throat> or light squares, not white. about this move this move this move I don't want my queen where it is but I need to develop more pieces so if I go here I hit these squares I'm trying to find a way to enable my pieces to get onto the light squares. <clears throat> okay. 
and need to be careful of this diagonal as well. So moving here, uh, I mean, he could just do this, which is whatever. Um, but it allows me to move there, then there, then there, and then probably before moving this pawn, I want to get my queen somewhere else. <clears throat> or right now. Right now is a good time to move the queen somewhere else too. But where? Probably not in this file. And he really just wants to get that pawn. So how about here? <clears throat> I'm already playing too fast because I know I have a time limit today. So I need to just chill. Just a little. <clears throat> My good, I'm so sorry. I won't have time to edit this today. Um, if it is edited, I, I came in over the weekend probably. So you're welcome. This probably looks weird. Eh, come in. Need to start looking at his nasty queen moves. I like having this here because <clears throat> it protects here. But also, if he keeps pushing something, like that pawn, is this frightening? I, this is this feels like a bad time to lose my uh, lose my queen. I'm not in a very good position for it. Although, He takes, I take, they take, eh, no, not a big fan of that. No, oh no. <laughs> I'm so mad. Oh. We are going to recover from this somehow. Oh, I'm so angry. I, I just have this stupid tendency to click around to help myself envision things. I shouldn't have, I wrote to the dude that it was a mouse slip. I shouldn't have done that. I should have let him think that I have this great master plan that he can't even envision because he's not nearly good enough. I bet the in-game analysis is saying that that was the greatest move that's ever happened to. Well, now I really need to protect every single thing that I have to the best of my ability. 
that is going to get taken. Probably not that way. Probably take with the bishop. Oh. I mean, that's good, too. It opens the rook. Okay. Here. All right. I need to not get in my own head too much. I made a very accidental and terrible mistake. Didn't do it on purpose. I'm only down three points of material. I can do this still with absolutely perfect play. Maybe. Oh, I don't know. <clears throat> so what I'm currently envisioning is this move. It's protected by the bishop. I'm just going to do this for a moment. Hide my shame. Okay. <clears throat> this move is off the table. But what I'm successfully doing is hemming this bishop in. So we'll do this move with the plan to do that move next. And then, unless they make another move, like pushing this pawn... Their bishop is uh, effectively trapped. Hmm. <clears throat> and if they do, um, like let's say I get here, and they do this move, I obviously I need to uh, move the bishop or take the piece, take the pawn. Um. I would say not to do it like this because the bishop will escape somewhere and this is open. I would rather have a clean line open. So just, I, if this isn't making sense, it's because I'm overthinking things right now. Um, basically, if I do this, they do this, I do this, and they like just retreat bad news bears for me okay i have I, my next move is i'm forced to move the bishop somewhere um so they have what is called tempo which is a term that i'm still learning the meaning of but i'm assuming it has something to do with moving a piece and your piece has purpose which also forces the other person to make a move where uh, they are responding to you. So you're in charge, I guess. Um, I do also have a fork, but I can't trade pieces right now. He's thinking really hard for being so up. Where was my terrible night move? Right there. What did I even want to... I think I was just thinking through the possible moves. Like, 
do I have a check? Do I have something I can do that, that would, you know, woo, just snap right back to it. Okay. Is that scary? I don't think so. Feels very random. And now the bishop, in its current iteration, is trapped. This move seems inevitable. Like, I don't... Oh! Actually, there's something way worse he could do to me. So if he realizes his bishop is toast and makes this move, I lose all ability to do anything um because if i take here ugh, garbage i have to work on envisioning what the board looks like in the future a little bit better which is it that's a tough thing for my brain to do So in addition to losing my bishop, I will have two very weak pawns that are not protected by anything right in the middle of the board and a big open file right there. What? I just feel bad. Although, all right, I'm going to play this out kind of what, how I was thinking. So this, 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 Here, I imagine he would want to attack. These are all like, this is not everything I was envisioning in my mind, for sure. Uh, you can't move white two times in a row. Um, I'm just, again, I'm just kind of messing around trying to think through if there was a way forward for me. I'll check out the analysis really fast, too. I don't know which pawn is best to move. <clears throat> That's one of the reasons this is such a bad, like, thing for me is I kind of I think how I play, which is not always ideal. I just, I don't, I don't see a way that I could break through. So I'm assuming he, what I was trying to do was figure out like, does he see a move order 
where I win. And I don't see that just playing quickly. So let's walk through this quick and then uh, we'll be done. I was talking with a student yesterday, which in the future, you know, when this actually posts, will probably be like four or five days ago. Oh, wow. 77.6% accuracy to 75.5% accuracy. I feel good about that. Um, he had one blunder. I had two. <laughs> guess you can't guess where one of those was. Um, sorry, my phone completely threw me off track, but um, whatever. The, I, I was talking with a student about uh, analyzing games and they made it very clear that they find that boring and uh, I think it is as well but I also think that if you want to get better you have to go look at other people uh, other how other people played certain positions and uh, if there's a better move order so for example I talked about this earlier and I know the first three moves like the back of my hand. This says, oh, nothing helpful. It was giving me um, next moves or black. So gen the, the most popular move is pawn to g6. Uh, second most popular is pawn to e6 and pawn to c6. The most popular move I've seen is this uh, pawn to a6 every time. That's all I've seen. So it's good to know what you could go up against in the future, maybe. Okay, so this says that's the right move to do. Also good. And in this, so this is a super common setup for me at this point of the game. Uh, I end up seeing this exact position over and over and knowing that moving the bishop is not the best move. It's not the best move by like half of a pawn, but getting the knight in here is a big deal. What do they say? So knight. Whoa. Okay. Oh. That makes a lot of sense. So this bishop uh, kicks back here for the same reason why I kick my bishop back. It's so that if I decide to take, they take, and the rook is open, and they can just cast along. One moment. I have no idea if you can see me when I duck off screen like that. But anyway, um, moving this knight here is a good counter to this, which I see that a lot. I generally don't like to have my bishop there because I end up destroying my pawn structure or bringing my queen up, and the queen isn't doing anything right there. So, okay. Whoa, it's walking forward in its uh, made up line. So we'll go back here. There's not really a big difference there uh, in point values according to the computer. This move is so annoying. And how does it say to protect against it? Oh, it, is it exactly what I did? Yeah. Okay, cool. Again, their um, recommended move is not that much better than what I did. Uh, it's only 0 0.02 points better. Of 
Queen back, queen up, and then... Oh, thank you, computer. This loses a piece. So I just uh, went from... Plus 1.29 points, so up a, a pawn, to down a full piece. No, to basically down a rook. I, I lost five points with that move. And they... Did not. So that was a blunder for them. Because I, they're losing a free piece, obviously. So how did they say to capitalize? So I thought about this. But I don't. Oh, man. So I could have come back from it. He got tunnel visioned on taking my queen and I got tunnel visioned on taking his back after I screwed up. But um, this move, I don't know if it's quite correct, but uh, I believe it's called a Zwickenschucht. I don't know. Something German for sure. Um, it would check, and it would protect my knight, and it would attack their bishop. And after I checked, and they moved over, and my knight was safe, I could just take. Oh. Very angering. So I gotta go slow. Not the best move, but not bad either. What did they want me to do? Push the pawn. So they had the same idea that I did. I just didn't execute it fast enough for them. And that was when they gave up. It's actually way closer than I thought it would be. They're only up a pawn at this point. But that's, I think that's because it's inevitable that I'm going to get this, this bishop. Uh, it has nowhere to go unless it does a move like this. And I'll take. And then I can take the knight. If they bring the bishop back, that's good. Um, hmm. Cool. I kind of think the dude felt bad for me for my mouse slip. So maybe it's good I said I mouse slipped. I don't know. That just, uh, I, I, you got to learn from all mistakes. Like even on over the board chess, you can play something incorrectly. And, you know, you could lose the game because of that. Or you do things in the wrong order. Like when you castle, like you lose. Um, if you don't hit the clock or something like that. Like if you do things in the wrong order, you lose. And I was kind of feeling the cutthroatness of this whole situation. But, hey, who knows? Well, we're over halfway there now. Only took 15 episodes. I'm interested at the end of this to see how many actual games it takes me to get uh, from 899 all the way up to 1,000 or more. Or will I ever get there? I don't know. A dude I was listening to talk the other day said that uh, for someone to get from no real experience playing chess up to a thousand within a year is really good. So um, I hit that after about three months and I put a lot of time into studying and preparing and watched a lot of videos, uh, bought a couple courses on specific openings that I wanted to learn. Like I, I put my time in. I just don't have a lot of time to play. So I spent a lot of time thinking and studying. And it's kind of nice to be back in, in this groove again. So thank you for watching again. I know I said that already. Enjoy your days. Hopefully uh, you guys had a nice relaxing weekend. I think this will post on Monday. We'll see. But that's all I got. Get your homework done. Get some sleep. Stay hydrated. Peace.